All right, well, happy Tuesday, everyone. As we talk about our forecast today, it is a storm alert weather day. We are tracking the chance of a line of strong to severe thunderstorms moving in from west to east across the area here, and this is going to be primarily during the late afternoon and evening hours. Now, the good news is this will likely be in and out of the area before you head to bed tonight, and it will also probably hold off for most of the kiddos to get home from school and for you probably to get home from work, especially early in the afternoon. But then in between that, that's the time frame we want you to be aware of the potential of some gusty winds and some small hail. So this is not going to be a major severe weather outbreak for us, but it is something that we want you to watch and be weather aware as we go throughout the afternoon and evening hours. So let's talk about the setup. High pressure here. This big blue H continues to slide east off of the Carolinas. We're getting that return flow out of the south ahead of this strong cold front. It's a fairly dynamic system that's moving to the east and right ahead of that is a line of thunderstorms here that is trying to get going. So uh, right now we're kind of in that morning to early afternoon lull, but I do think it'll start to kind of perk up a little bit more along that front as we go into the afternoon hours ahead of it. We're starting to see the clouds increasing. Also noticing that we're starting to see a little bit of a breeze increasing as well. So the main energy or the driver of this storm system right now is this area of low pressure and the red L that continues to develop here over the Arkansas and southern Missouri. That's lifting off towards the north and east, and you can see this line of storms starting to get a little more organized now ahead of that front here as we start to get into a little bit of that daytime heating. So that line of storms will continue to make its way off towards the east and northeast as we go into the afternoon hours. So for us, that's going to be something that we're going to pay attention to. Now, the greatest risk of severe weather this afternoon will be just off to our west and southwest as you get towards the Huntsville to Nashville area. That's where we have a level two out of five. But for us here in most of the Tennessee Valley, we've got a level one out of five, which just means that we'll see these scatter storms arriving along that front and we'll see that potential of some gusty winds up to 60 miles per hour and maybe a little small hail that could come in with this activity as well as it makes its way on off towards the east. So ahead of that line of storms, we are warming up with these temperatures temperatures upper 60s to right around 70 degrees now, so that's going to be adding some fuel to that system as it moves through. We also have some wind energy that continues to increase across the area. Winds ahead of the storms here as they make their way into the area now starting to pick up anywhere between about 5 to 10 miles per hour, but they'll likely start to gust more like 20 to 30 miles per hour as they go into the afternoon hours. So if you have any outside uh, Halloween decorations or just some outside uh, items that are kind of just hanging out, you may want to try to bring those on inside before that line of storm begins to move into the area. In fact, our friends over here towards uh, Jackson and DeKalb counties in Alabama and over towards uh, Grundy County here in uh, Tennessee under a wind advisory and that goes until 8 o'clock this evening for the potential of those wind gusts up to and maybe slightly over 30 miles per hour as that line of storms uh, just ahead of it as it moves our way. So there's your storm system off to the west with future cast. Again, we'll show you that line making its way towards the east over towards Nashville down towards Huntsville and Birmingham as we get towards the 4 or 5 o'clock time frame. It's after that time frame when this line of storms will begin to make their way into portions of the Tennessee Valley and about seven, eight, nine o'clock. That's when we're going to have that potential of seeing some gusty winds, some small hail, and again, that potential of some brief heavy rainfall moving on through. So your storm alert seven day forecast thunderstorms likely as we get into the late afternoon and or evening hours, but again out of here before your bedtime and then cooler but drier as we head throughout the end of the week and then notice another chance of rain as we get towards the end of the weekend heading into Halloween. Patrice.